Hey friends, Jeff here. As you guys know by now, I love to share cues, techniques, and drills that I've learned along my journey that have helped myself or my students become better kettlebell practitioners, or for that matter, just better people in general. So, here's a great one for squatty swings. I would love to tell you who the first person that thought of this was. Heck, I would love to tell you who created this box, but I don't know. You know, I'm not creating this stuff always, right? I am just sharing things that I've learned. And this is a damn good one for squatty swings. So, squatty swing, you know, people are squatting into this, this motion instead of hinging. Well, if you put a box between their legs, they're not going to be able to squat, right? So, something like this, around tibial height, right? I like to just have people start getting the momentum of the bell going, but just starting to push a little bit so they can get a little comfort zone and kind of realize where that box is at instead of swinging off of it. So anyways, I'll just get here like this, start pushing, standing. Hey guys, when you're using this drill, I would recommend gradually building up the height of the box that you're using to ensure that your clients are learning the hinge properly and that they're not going to whack that box when they very first try it. So build up from the ground up to tibial height as their hinge is improving to make sure it keeps them nice and safe. So hope this, uh, this drill works for you as well as it's worked for me. Thank you.